he was on his way back to Aberdeen. He rang about uh, ten past eight this evening, and he said, uh, if you've seen the news about the helicopter crash, uh, don't worry, I'm all right, but I was in it, and I haven't seen the news, so I didn't know anything about it. Um, he said he was somewhere in the Shetlands, and, he, you know, physically he was fine. He's a bit cut um, and shaken. But, you know, he'd let me know when he... Um, knew what was going to happen. I spoke to him for about 30 seconds. I mean, it was li- I don't know where he was ringing from, but he said it, it, it seemed to lose power and um, th- th- there was no time to brace. They just, just dropped into the sea. And he was by the window, so he was able to um, escape that way as it rolled over. He said he had, he had come off better than, than a lot of people, um, were his words. That's all he said. It didn't seem real. I would say two hours later, it's just beginning to sink in, actually. I've had a message from him just saying that he is is in Lerwick Hospital, um, and that's all. But, you know, he's okay, is what he says. 